flagship Roland synth, The Phantom. <laughs> Only one yeah. partial. Partial have. Hi and welcome to Tome and Synthesizers. I'm Jason and I'm joined by Jimmy Cressage. And we are going to take a deeper look at the new flagship Roland synth, the Phantom. Yes, yes. Fantastic. So. My first, my first look at this beast, and it, it is a beast, is how solid it is. It's absolute, the build quality is robust. I mean, I'm gonna use the word, road worthy. Everything is a solid, everything metal, the whole, uh, whole pot is whole, everything is very yeah. exquisite, very expensive. This is the best. The best uh, of that, everything. Yes, yeah, what yeah. we have. And then I, I, I watched a little bit what, what's happening down on this side. I mean, I, can I just point out? Yeah. I mean, you, you've got everything mirrored yeah. on the top. Yeah, look at but this. But you've barely got enough room for the word Roland. You've yeah, got every yeah. single thing yeah. you could possibly want to plug into. Yeah. CV and Gate. Yeah. Two channels. Two, two, two of them, yeah. And then I start to play, and that was for me like, <laughs> Okay, now I think so I have this what I'm waiting for the whole my life. Yeah, no, I mean it's 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 well designed, well, but I love the, I love solid XLR outputs on things. There's no yes, we have this with Roland on jacks, but I mean Very that's your, your main thing. So for for live performance, it's ready. I yeah, mean, yeah. Uh, fantastic. And keyboard wise, again, you're not going to get a cheap keyboard on a flagship synth. You've got a fantastic. No, this is completely one. new keyboard that, yeah. that the Roland made. And um, and put it in a in a Phantom six seven and we have also the big one. This is the Phantom eight with eighty eight uh, keys and also with the brand new keyboard in it. We'll I just want to mention also way. this this uh, sub outputs here that I have also analog filter directly when okay. I when I mess around with my analog analog stuff that I will explain you later. <laughs> uh, I can put it directly from the That's synthesizer so out. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, just worth noting as well, these are all rotary encoders, they're high resolution yes. rotary encoders. Yes, yes, yes. Which are... Uh, Completely. Touch sensitive. You oh, don't increments. need even to touch it, I think it will, so it will show you what from re resolution the, the, the knobs I, that they yeah. have. Workstations have been around a long time, and I think, uh, as we know, I mean, when the Phantom originally came out in 2001, it, it kind of, it was a bit of a game changer. Um, you know, we're so used to... to I sort know of, that. Sort of, <laughs> I get one. <laughs> yeah, I sold them. <laughs> so yeah, exactly. Uh, the Phantom S as well with the inclusion of the, uh, the pad. pad. So pad. I, think, I think this is like that. This is not evolution of the Phantom. It's a no. completely new instrument. From the it's, ground uh, up. We, we take the name, or the Roland take the name uh, uh, Phantom because this is a uh, Roland best, biggest instrument. But this is completely no, uh, new instrument. We have the old controller possibility. I have yeah. here my jog wheel. I have my, my, my jog wheel. I have a modulation possibility directly on the display, touch display. I have yeah. my pads. I have directly um, uh, uh, to put, to go on my filters and my LFOs and all this stuff. Like, I have yeah. the whole mix here yeah. and everything. I have everything what I need. So the workflow of this is is very natural, isn't it? I think. Yeah. And having seen you play this, um, it, it looks it looks very effortless on your part. I mean, I don't, correct me if I'm wrong, but it looked like you were just you were at one with the with the instrument. You know, we have also a sequence inside. Yeah. You, we, can, we can build your song uh, inside. You have the patterns inside that you can combinate. Uh, we have a four chips inside. Okay. Cool. This is four. Four, <laughs> four chips. Because of this enormous power, this, this big power that I have inside, uh, I have possibility to do everything what I want. Uh, I don't have barriers. I don't have uh, different levels. I don't have like different modes. We don't have performance. We don't have a mode. We have don't no, don't have single modes. We don't have sequence uh, song. Every different sample is everything happening in one level. That's refreshing because if you're starting ground level mm. and everything's on the ground level, mm. then it just becomes a smooth workflow, right? I can, I can have a patch remain without this uh, stopping from the sound. Okay. I, can, I can change between my scenes and it's everything morphing in one song. I can show so you now if you have yeah, yeah, let's, let's time. Yeah, 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 dude, yeah please, <laughs> always time. Yeah, look at it. We will, we will try with one song. I have here mm -hmm. six. Patches. Okay. Yeah. And all effects are Perfect. also inside. Yeah. So I can modulate a little bit. Nice. Or with velocity, play some piano. Yeah. 
Ja, ja, ja. Okay. ja. So. Jetzt, let's go. Now I'm changing this patch to one sequence. Okay. okay. Nothing changes. <laughs> Okay, changing. 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 And now I go to my motion pad. Look at this. Oh yeah, I know so that. I recognize now that. I can, yeah, now I can mess around with this. Yeah. And live performance-wise, yeah. yeah, you're not going to be stealing polyphony. So just to explain what I had so, here, one one patch uh, uh, with uh, uh, one sound uh, that I have uh, six patches inside. I have one pattern with the drums and mm -hmm. an instrument synthesizer. I have one uh, piano. In this case, we piano. But okay. I will I will yeah, explain yeah. to you later yeah. what that yeah. means. I have one we piano with the with the strings, and on the end I had this huge orchestra sound that I'm morphing with yeah, the yeah, yeah. motion part. Pad. The sound didn't stop when you moved from one to the other. You didn't lose polyphony. Not and dynamic that, that would, is enormous. Yeah, absolutely enormous. amazing, and it sounded massive, absolutely yeah. huge. I don't have barriers mere right. between workstation and analog way of playing or thinking about yeah. the instrument. So I have one. Comp really great synthesizer inside mm. where I can uh, mess around with all this uh, stuff that I that you already know with the analog yeah, outputs and, and oscillators and uh, filters and it's also a workstation. So synthesizer wise, uh, what, what kind of synthesis have we got in here? So we have uh, uh, partials, right. we have four partials. Every partial is a one oscillator yeah. and in a one oscillator I have two LFOs. Right. I have equalizer, okay. I have FX and everything. Right. This is Pro one partial, and I have four of them for one sound. sound. So what does mean? I go and mess around a little bit with a with a one okay. partial. Yeah. Let's go to the amplifier inside. Yeah. You know this one. Yep. I think everybody knows this one. Oh, sorry, yeah. I've left okay. my phone. So on. this is the this is the first sound <laughs> that we start to, to work with. It. Yeah. I, Absolutely. I, I give it a little bit effects. Okay. So, now I can play with this. I can go yeah. down a little bit with the filter yeah. huh? and all this stuff. So, right. let's go to the LFOs. The first did you just Did you just scroll? I just... <laughs> yeah. And look what? At, look at because, That's insane. Yeah, because, because of this power. Look yeah, at, yeah, look yeah. at this. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. This is going so Touch fast. screen. I'm sorry, I, did, I didn't expect that. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't expect you to feel yeah. that. It's going, That's brilliant. I like it's that. It's going so it's, fast. It's, I mean, I think touchscreen... Uh, we are a smartphone generation, right? Everybody's used to that way of working, so why wouldn't you expect it on a synth? I mean, I guess just because I didn't, but there it is. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. So, now I play the one partial that I have. Yeah. I put it a little bit, one LFO, let's, yeah. let's play just with the filter there. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Okay, okay. let's change the type. Let's okay. go from the triangle to square. Let's pull it a little bit faster. Christmas now, yeah. yeah. Let's do it maybe on the left side. Headphones on, guys. Okay. Okay. Everything nice. Everything yeah, okay. Yeah. But now, I go to the second LFO. And for the second LFO, I will choose... Just a moment. For the second LFO, I will choose step LFO. Okay. And now I will put my second LFO to the right side. 
No, I go out to mess a little bit with the LFO. Okay. Step LFO. Do it. Look at this. With my finger. So you... Then I go to the... I think something about over 30 different chords. Look at this. Just a moment. What? Crazy. Or do you just, just go here? Okay. You know what I'm talking I about. I do, yeah, absolutely. Yes. That's so. Nice. so. Now well, let's go to the change. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> Sound familiar? And, and this oh, is on a postcard. And, and this is and this is only one yeah. partial, not yeah, yeah, yeah. tone. So partial. Partial. So in that partial, what are your oscillator options for that sound? Yeah, I go the to basic the building. Yeah, I go to the oscillator. I have a f Plenty of different types. Okay, so Juno. Yeah. So I guess uh, analog, type, analog, yeah. mold, analog yes. modeling. Analog modeling. Okay, yes. okay, virtual analog. And there you go. PCM and Super Soul so, and, and PCM all this stuff. sync. Okay, yeah, so we you've have got thousands of PCM samples inside. Yeah. Yeah. What about filter? What's what's uh, yeah. what options if I you have got, for the filter? If I want to go to mess a little bit with the filter, mm. let's go from the beginning. Okay. Okay. Let's go in the filter. I can I can like uh, clone very famous vintage filter that we know in a I think, past. I think I can guess music. what they are, but I won't say. I think, <laughs> <laughs> so just hear about it. Yeah. You can go also and do it I like, like a new guys. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because they love Tuscans. this kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. But I have also for the guys like me to push it a little bit. Yes. yes. I just seems natural to me too. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's go now and change a little bit the filter. 12 decibel per octave. Or this JP. P. Oh, yeah, I, I recognize that. Yeah, I know that you recognize that. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, th nice. this is a filter. I'm playing just with the one partial. Now, I'm going to the second one. Partials, pro partials, two LFOs. Every partial have. If I have now this tone, and then go a little bit to mess around with it. Okay. Put some different sounds. Okay. I can play chords. Also called memory. <laughs> so let's put some music. It's a point of demand to die but once. I thought as I reloaded the riot pump. Oh, this is what they want. A bad cow. They wanted to start like they daddy. That was now uh, 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 only to, to show you the possibility of, mm. of this instrument. So you start from from 
yeah, huh? very basic from tone. nothing and Into put it huge, to the huge production in yeah, absolutely, everything. Yeah. I used samples, I used yeah. uh, uh, different virtual analog instruments, uh, I used uh, sequencer, uh, uh, possibility to, uh, to control, control this, all the sound with chord memory, with modulation wheel. I like the fact that you've got the, the, the Roland classic bender, yeah, but also some mod wheel love it and pitch bend. I mean, yeah, if, if, you want if, if you play like something like this, there's, yes. some, there's something um, about that that you just... You know, I'm coming also from... Yeah, absolutely. There you go. But if you play also some patches like this with filter... Yeah, but I want to give him, you know, yeah, so... Yeah, and yeah, to yeah. stay That's there. too short, isn't it? And to stay the there. travel. So, yeah. You so, have to have that, yeah. yeah. You can put a different uh, stuff on, on the wheels. Here? Yeah. On the wheel is my tremolo. Yeah. Down. Okay. So I can mess around with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come always on, back. On, on, off. But here I have an eff effect. Okay. Look at that. Ah, okay. So, yeah, sort of decay. So you can yeah. do whatever you want. Mod and it's very assign. easy. Yeah, the yeah. people are asking, uh, okay, I go inside and I don't know where is this in a menu. And so yeah, yeah, it's yeah. very easy. <laughs> just <laughs> easy. Put, yeah, just push shift knob. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Look at this. Yeah. Shift and make this move. And Fantastic. I'm there. Oh, okay, so there you go. And now I can mess around. So, reverb. so we've just plugged in the USB cable. And before... Yeah, just this single one. Single cable. <laughs> before we discuss what that's plugged into and why we've done that, I, I'd like... I've. As I understand it, this has a high-resolution audio interface built into yes, it, right? Yes, it's best in the market at the moment, yeah. Which allows you for three returns and 16 cents, or 16 yeah. audio outs. Moment is a little bit difficult to okay. explain in stereo. So 32 yeah. channels yeah, yeah. of audio. Yeah, and everything about with six returns, because they're stereo yeah, also. Three. Yes, of course. And this everything <laughs> with this cable okay. and MIDI. And MIDI. And maybe in the future we can do some espresso or something. <laughs> that, now that's, but, that's something I'd like to see Phantom have with the espresso option. Roland, Phantom Mark II with espresso. <laughs> or maybe, actually, maybe a firmware update. What can I do now with with this? I yeah, have, show us. Show I, I connected this uh, only, okay. with the, only with the only with with the one cable. Yeah. So and uh, we have something completely different now. Mm -hmm. As you see, I have also here dull control. Yes. This means I can exactly mirror this window what I have here on the laptop to put it also to see all controls, all everything what I okay. need to morph the sound here on my. Uh, display on the Phantom. So just a moment. <laughs> yeah, uh, we will start. Uh, that means I can put this uh, somewhere in a dressing room or whatever, uh -huh. you know. Yeah. And <laughs> everything what I what I have to do is I just look on my display and have all this controller. I will show you now. Do. Main stage. So that sound this is, is, main stage. is coming back coming in back and coming from out the USB. And from, so the, from the XLR, but if I want, I can put it also on the sub output. Okay, so, I have, so you can sub mix it to somewhere So I have my piano which, here. In front of house guy might want that. Yeah. Not, you know, yeah. So I have my piano here from here on the master, and then I have on the sub my main stage, and then I have on the sub maybe drums or, the, or click, and then I have of the analog filter my filter. But presumably you've so, got the option now, to mix sounds as well. Yes, here. I can mix it. Yeah. Now I play just uh, main stage, but I can put it also piano sound from, from, <laughs> from, from, uh, it's from that, the Phantom. It's that simple, guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can mesh, mess it up with with Fine. all all instrument combinate and everything. Now we go to this this, this dial control. Look at this. Just push this button. And now, I can choose my sound here. Come on. Yes? What, I, what, what can you see? The tune, um, cut off, resonance, I have amazing, everything yeah. here. Oh, yeah. So I can play. Sorry. Let's go to the pad again. Look at this. Look at this, when 
my pedal. I, I'm holding this first pad. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. So I change the sounds to lead. When I push it back, the pad is gone. So I can push it again. Push it again. Holding with my pedal yeah. and playing another sound. Okay, let's go to arpeggiato here. Now I'm holding this sound. Yeah, arpeggiato. Okay, let's go to the cutoff. I can play like uh, do it like here, but I have also. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Distortion. Okay. Let's put it another pad. It's the future. That's lush. And then That easy. Yeah. That easy. Think you could have a Mac Mini in a rack. Yeah. But this is not everything that I want to show to you. <laughs> I can, There's always more with this. It's can, like a never ending. I can also connect this instrument with, 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 the, with the dove that I yeah. work, or this is a logic. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's look at that. Now, as you, as you can see, I have here my, my, my scene. This one is a major, uh, main stage. Another is a logic scene. This is everything on the same level, okay. like my patch that I played. Yeah. Uh -huh. So. And I noticed with the, with the, when you had main stage up, you had all of the uh, controls for the synth and the electric piano up on here. How did that happen? You don't have to program nothing. Everything is already there. You just choose, you just connect your instrument with the main stage and you will get this picture inside. And if you change this with logic, yeah. as I d uh, did it now, so I go now and now I have my logic yeah. uh, 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 interface here. Yeah. I don't need to Play with the, with the mouse or with a with a laptop. I can do everything here. Record. I can mark uh, undo, reundo, start, stop, position, ending, cursor. Look. Okay. Okay. <laughs> of course, I have also mixing. Mixer. Okay. Nice. Everything. Seamless. Yeah. Absolutely seamless. So, so yeah. I mirrored. Didn't I didn't program nothing. No. This is everything. That's really good because really one there. one of my things that I really love doing is mapping control. <laughs> <laughs> so now I can record my favorite piano if I want. Yeah. So now I change my sound to, to my strings. Okay. Recording. So that's fantastic. Cinematic. Yes. Let's, let's go. Let's go a little bit back with a position. Okay. And here is what I'm playing. <laughs> you know what's up? So this is uh, really so very fast way to work uh, without yeah. putting your hand on the on the. So for a film composer, <laughs> nice. So those sounds were all coming from. 
all sounds came from the from the logic. From no. logic, okay. But I can put also. But you can you can obviously. The yeah. piano inside. This is some completely another section that I will explain to you. V piano. Now we'll look at that. <laughs> so by the magic of television, we now have the eighty-eight note version in front of us. Tell us about the V piano. Yeah, and of course, V yeah. piano. This piano that we had for a few years, you yeah, know, this yeah. big expensive. instrument, expensive, expensive <laughs> instrument is already inside. Because of so, that, I have also now this version, Phantom 8, yeah. with 88 keyboard. Gorgeous. It's the same, it's the Gorgeous. best that we have. Yeah, it's the same yeah. actual keyboard that we have in the RT2000, okay. but now with the aftertouch also. I'm playing with the classical yeah, music. Yeah. I want to have no compromise yeah. on, the, on stage for the for the sound of the piano. Yeah, totally. So if I take this Phantom with uh, with uh, this uh, keyboard, yeah. I have com one V sit inside, and with that That's I have like my so, system pedal. Okay. Pe pedal. That's everything. Yeah. So I can play the whole. So Day, no like limits this. on yeah. polyphony. With this um, uh, keyboard, I have also a dynamic yeah. keyboard that I can play also classical music or like things like this, like. Yeah, yeah. I didn't touch volume, I didn't touch nothing. I could play like very small uh, and bold and delicately. With like no a flower. With no polyphony. And this is not sample, this is V piano technology. So, so I don't have this loop, I have yeah, nothing. Yeah, so like yeah. I play the sound. It's always and that sound. I can keep him for a for minutes. Without yeah. hearing the loop. This only you can hear is a resonance from the sound. Like a piano. A hammer hitting a string. Let's go inside and uh, play a little bit with that. You can see on the display okay, what I can designer. change everything. Okay. From this sound, I can do like this okay, string lit. resonance, yeah. damper, hammer noise. Yeah, okay. Look at this. So we're getting a bit, so the felt's getting a bit yeah. worn. <laughs> you can Look almost at this. down to the wood. You could literally turn the most pristine grand into a school piano. Uh, you, you, didn't, you didn't notice this. <laughs> Sorry, did I, did I miss some? I think the English guy doesn't know this kind of music. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, just a kidding, just a kidding. So, so now we have also du uh, duplex scale, K of resonance, cabinet, yep. sand barrier resonator, dampfer noise. If I hold my, my finger on the note and push it like, it's a resonant there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is everything what I have. So now go to the tuning. <laughs> I can tune every single key. Right. Yeah. That's amazing. So, not only that, also level and also character. 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 Look character. at this. For oh, wow. every note. Look at this. You know? <laughs> This is, why I'm explaining that is because also yeah. of the sound design. Yes, absolutely. I have one piano that I can play with them for my production, for movie, for film. I play this sound, yes, that I, that I make, that I destroyed with, with more sounds from the, from here's the... One you, here's one you prepared earlier. From the Phantom and...
That was the VPN. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, Jimmy, thank you very much for coming in and thank bringing this fantastic me. bit of kit. Um, I hope you got a sense of how big this is and the ground which it covers is absolutely huge. From synthesis through to being able to control your door, main stage, composition, V piano, v -piano under five grand. Yeah. Like a bonus, isn't it? It's like you get that free. Um, but yeah, such an amazing instrument and yeah, hope we'll be seeing more of this on stages. Something as powerful as this surely can handle anything you yeah. throw at it for a, for, a, for a long while. So you are making an investment in the future with this and Roland will support you in that investment. So I think that's, that's really cool. Yeah. So thank, thank you. you very much. We're gonna play out. So remember to like, subscribe, share, enjoy. And Jimmy's gonna play us out with some cool tunes. Yeah, thank, thank you very you. much. <laughs> so the last tune I will play for you is uh, one song from the Chili Gonzalez. It's a very nice, a very cool uh, musicians. And uh, the song called White Keys, and everybody knows why White Keys is this, because now I'm playing only White Keys without transposing. So let's start. Thank you.